Congress tonight, two Georgia women took a stand against crime and it cost them their jobs. Here's what happened. No, no, no. No, no. Seriously, get out. Get out. Get out. You heard it there. That's it. Jennifer Ferguson and Rachel Rogers say they were fired for trying to stop shoplifters from stealing. They say the same group of young men hit the store again and again, running off with tons of clothing from Lululemon. You may know it, a luxury athletic wear company. We contacted the company to find out what the women did wrong. According to their policies, employees should never put themselves at risk by trying to stop theft, never leave the store to gather information, and never film the thieves in action. Employees are instead encouraged to clear a path for shoplifters and call 911 after the bad guys have gotten away. In a statement to News Nation, Lululemon said in part, the two employees were not terminated for calling police. They were terminated for knowingly violating our zero tolerance policy related to physically engaging with the perpetrators. The statement goes on to say, our view is that no amount of merchandise in a store is worth our educators putting themselves at risk. To be fair, no one should have to die over shoplifting. And while it may have happened before, um, if it may not have happened, it did happen earlier this month in San Francisco. A security guard tried to fight off a would-be shoplifter at Walgreens. And after a brief struggle, the guard pulled out a gun and shot the man, the DA there, elected not to file charges. But now business owners and corporations are forced to choose between protecting property or giving it away for free. Retail theft in America is an expensive trend costing business owners to the tune of nearly a hundred billion dollars. That's about double the number of lost inventory from 2018 and on top of runaway inflation. Here's the president of the National Retail Federation. The real issue I think here is what this does for customers, what it does for the employees and the team members, the associates, and what it does to these communities at that individual store level. Some insurance policies cover theft, but most cover shoplift, don't cover shoplifting, which leaves business owners out to dry. So we asked Lululemon to clarify whether or not stores have coverage for repeat shoplifting incidences, but we have not heard back. With us now, former Detroit Police Chief Ralph Godby and employment lawyer Andrew Lieb. Thank you both for joining us. Now, uh, Chief, Chief Godby, I want to start with you. When you see the numbers of the, the crime and these stores being hit, just your reaction on the fact that you don't want employees to take a stand. Well, Elizabeth, first of all, that's a great question, and your analysis has been spot on. I think the first thing you have to uh, uh, contemplate is, is life more valuable than property? And you have to somewhat draw a line in the sand, because even if you look at the numbers uh, for shrinkage, as they call it in the industry of loss prevention, the majority of the shrinkage is, is typically, it's an inside job. There are far more thefts that occur interior than do by shoplifting, number one. Secondly, uh, it's high risk and low reward. Uh, again, you're talking about property crime. Uh, even though Lululemon is, is, is high quality and very expensive, uh, when you actually look at the reach uh, of the wholesale value of the materials and what you're balancing that again, is it worth an employee risking their life? Because now you're talking about potentially a worker getting injured, which is a workman's comp issue, or even worse, getting killed or someone else getting killed over ostensibly what's, you know, property. Uh, so I think that's why uh, the corporation, and I'm not uh, an advocate, I have no connection to Lululemon, uh, but in general, you have to look at it from that standpoint, uh, because if you don't draw the line, uh, people are going to get injured. And uh, unfortunately, death could be the outcome. And uh, valid point. We would never, ever choose life over merchandise. Mm -hmm. But at oh, the same time... Not. But at the same time, we also want people to have jobs, right? So, Andrew, oh, yes. I ask you, I mean, I'm yes. looking at a list of, uh, of stores that are seeing properties closing, Walmart, Target, Walgreens, Macy's, Best Buy, Nordstrom's, Whole Foods. I could go on. You know, people also want to keep their jobs. And I'll be honest, I think I would yell as well. I can't imagine getting fired for maybe what could be an involuntary reaction. Well, Elizabeth, I think you're saying what's going on right here, but we got to put our heads in the mind of these girls, Rachel and Jennifer. 
And it's not like they were trying to be vigilante justice and come after them with a broom. What happened is it's repeated. It keeps happening. It keeps happening. This robbery they're saying is from the same people over and over again. And at some point you snap. At some point you have enough. And I, I can't put words in their mouth, but I imagine if you sat, sat down with Jennifer and Rachel and you said, hey, what would you like to happen? They would say, Lululemon would create safety because we keep getting robbed. And to this gentleman's point, yeah, it's not worth death. But how do you know the robber's not going to pull a knife, going to pull a gun? How do you know what they're going to do? And at some point, you freak out when the same people keep coming in your store and taking stuff disregarding rules. So I think the real issue is that it's repeated. And the fact that these two uh, ladies got fired for trying to advocate to protect themselves is unreal in my mind. Well, and Chief, that brings me to my next question. Yeah, yes. because, you know, like we said, they are repeat, repeat offenders. What needs to be done, whether it be in the city level or in enforcement level, where there's more fear and that this doesn't happen again? I, I understand completely what the counselor is saying, and, and is it extreme that they lost their jobs on a, on a one-off basis? That's probably true. However, from a crime prevention standpoint, even verbal resistance with an armed robber is perceived to be uh, a, a resistance, and verbal resistance can result in uh, someone being victimized. So there's very well-researched white paper understanding from a crime prevention standpoint of how to mitigate the risk of an employee being killed in that situation. Again, uh, I'm not a representative of Lululemon, but from a corporate standpoint, I do understand why these type of policies are in place. Andrew, should Lululemon have fired these women? Yeah, I think that's the whole point here. No one's debating that these girls could have done something differently. The ladies could have done nothing, and I'm sure they did the first time this happened. We didn't see this on the news. The second time this happened, we didn't see this on the news. It keeps happening. And at some point, we hear about stand your ground laws in all these different states. At some point, the company has to step up. I don't think the failure is on the ladies not following the policy. And yes, I acknowledge and agree that that might have not been a good choice in the moment. But just feeling that vulnerability when the same people keep coming in and out. And I think that's just a travesty that Lululemon hasn't put the right security in place, hasn't coordinated with law enforcement. And now they're scapegoating an assistant manager and employee. So no, they shouldn't be fired. And more so, and more so, why don't they have a law in Georgia? Like in New York, we have a whistleblower law where we can have employees go and sue if they get retaliated against when they complain when their safety is in jeopardy. Georgia only has this for public employees. They need something for people that work in places like Lululemon so they can advocate. These ladies had no choice but to stand idly by and basically pray that they didn't have a problem. All right, Chief, you have about 30 seconds. I'll give you the last word on this one because, it, as you know, the ladies say that they were, yes. they claim that they were fired because they called police. Lululemon said that they weren't fired because they called police. They were fired because they tried to confront, in Lululemon's opinion, the attackers. Uh, we'd have to take everyone at face value, but, you know, to the counselor's point, uh, if, if, if it was simply for them calling the police, that's uh, reprehensible. However, if it is because they did resist uh, and go against policy, uh, you do have to understand that we are a country of laws, rules, and regulations, and it's for everybody's safety. So you can't make exceptions and still enforce. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you.